MMA Rocks with James Thompson, uh, the uh, freshly announced opponent for Mariusz Pudzianowski. First of all, James, uh, how did this fight come about? Or when were you approached with the possibility of fighting Mariusz? Uh, I was approached um, about a month ago. Uh, maybe a little bit longer going back and forth. I'm trying to sort a few things out with the agreement, uh, etc. Um, but yeah, it, it was about a month ago or, or, or so. Uh, did you immediately thought this is a good fight for you? Or did you think it? Uh, oh, it's fight in Poland. Yeah, I mean, I, I always like fighting different places. Poland's um, somewhere I definitely want want to fight. You know, fighting for a good organization too. Um, wh when the fight came about, well, as soon as I knew Mario was coming into MMA, I, I knew there was a, a chance that a very good chance that I'd be fighting him. You know, I, I'm a big guy as well. Do you know what I mean? Um, so he kind of. He, he, and I styles. I'm very attacking fighter, and I think our styles go together um, well. So I, I was uh, expecting the fight. Uh, if you were to give your appraisal of Mariusz as a fighter, what would you say his strengths are, and how do you think your game will play uh, into them, or how you counter them? Yeah, he's very good at lifting stones. Is that something that translates well to MMA? Well, I, 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 I hope not. <laughs> if he comes in with a big stone and throws that at me, you know, I'm definitely watching out for that one. No, I, I mean, I mean uh, obviously, um, strength is a is a, a big one. Um, there, it's, it's a bit big one what Marius has got, um, but um, a, a lot of it is about, um, you know, not not only strength but the experience and, and other things. And, and you know, I think I think he's putting a lot of focus into MMA, but um, he just hasn't been in MMA um, too long. Uh, and that's the uh, main main point, I think. Considering that Mariusz is a, a top MMA star in Poland and promotion of the sport heavily relies upon him, uh, are you afraid that you know uh, he might get some favorable judging in this fight? Yeah, of course I am. I mean, um, KSW um, is, a, is, a, is a great organization. I, I, it's, it's, I'm not um, too worried about them. I, you're obviously, when you go into someone's home turf, um, fighting the, like their star obviously that becomes the point um, I'm just hoping that you know all, all I ask for is for a fair fight and I'm sure I'll get that so will you be looking especially to finish him in that case yeah yeah well I mean it's always best to finish someone I mean in wherever you are it's always better to finish someone and not leave it in the hands of the judges um, and, and I'll definitely be looking to do that um, when I fight Marius uh, let's say you win, you've beaten a 3 on one fighter, so what's, what will be next for you then? Uh, who knows, you know, I'd, I'd uh, hope KSW uh, would invite me back, um, you know, um, either to fight Marius or some, so, someone else. Um, you know, I'll just uh, have this fight and see what happens and, and, and take it from there, really. Uh, and question from left field, uh, what do you think is more demanding, fighting Marius or starring in gangster movies? Um, what's more demanding, what Marius or starring in gangster movies? It's a tough one. It's a tough. One. I'll, I'll give it Marius this time. But that's if he doesn't. As long as he, uh, as long as he don't throw a stone at me. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, but Mar yeah, no. I, I'd, I'd, I'd say fighting's uh, more demanding all the time, no matter who you're facing. To be honest. Okay. Thank you very much for your time and good luck in Gdańsk. No, I appreciate that. Thank you very much.